In this video, we're going to focus on how to tell if a salt is acidic, basic, or neutral. So the first thing you need to know is you need to know which acids are strong acids and which ones are weak acids. So let's review six common strong acids. These include HCl, hydrochloric acid, HBr, hydrobromic acid, hydroiodic acid, sulfuric acid, nitric acid, and perchloric acid. Here are some examples of weak acids. HF is a weak acid. H2SO3, notice that it has one less oxygen than H2SO4. Typically for oxy acids, the less oxygens that there are in the oxy acid, the weaker it is. So HClO4 is a strong acid, but HClO is a weak acid. HNO3 is a strong acid. HNO2 is a weak acid. Some other weak acids are acetic acid, carbonic acid, hydrocyanic acid, just to name a few. Now, we said that HCl is a strong acid. The conjugate base of a strong acid, in this case chloride, is neutral. Chloride is so weak as a base, it's considered to be neutral. If you put sodium chloride in water, the pH is going to stay at about 7. Now, the conjugate base of a weak acid, like fluoride, it's a relatively stronger base compared to chloride. So fluoride, if you put that in water, the pH will actually increase. Fluoride is considered to be a basic ion. So with this information in mind, we can create a table. On the left side, we're going to have the ions that are acidic. In the middle, the ones that are neutral. And on the right, the ions that are considered to be basic. So let's start with the neutral ions. So the conjugate bases of strong acids are neutral. So like chloride, bromide, iodide, nitrate, sulfate, perchlorate. These are neutral ions. Now alkali metals are also neutral as well. So if you see like sodium, lithium, potassium, these ions are neutral in aqueous solution. Now acidic ions, one good example is the ammonium ion. That's a weak acid. So anytime you see it in an ionic compound, it's a weak acid. And there are certain metal cations that have a very large positive charge, like the aluminum plus 3 ion, Pb plus 4. These are acidic. If you put them in the solution, the pH is actually going to decrease. And there are certain transition metal ions that are slightly acidic as well. So like the Fe plus 3 ion, copper 2 plus. If you put these in solution, the pH will decrease slightly below 7, and so it's slightly acidic. Now, for basic salts. These include the conjugate bases of weak acids like fluoride, nitrite, if you see sulfite, acetate, cyanide, these are basic. Carbonate. Now, if you see ions like hydride, hydroxide, these are strong bases. Oxide, it would be considered basic. So feel free to pause the video, study these, um, memorize them if you want to. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to quiz you. I'm going to give you a list of compounds, and I want you to determine if it's going to be acidic, basic, or neutral.
Okay. So if it's acidic, put an A next to it. If it's basic, put B. If it's neutral, N. So potassium chloride. K, potassium, is an alkali metal, so that's neutral. And chloride is the conjugate base of a strong acid. So this is going to be neutral. Sodium hydroxide. Hydroxide is a strong base, so this is going to be basic. Ammonium chloride. Well, NH4+, plus, that's a weak acid, so it's acidic. The aluminum plus 3 um, ion, that's a, it has a very high positive charge, so that's going to be a weak acid. Sodium fluoride. Fluoride is the conjugate base of a weak acid, so this is going to be a basic salt. FeCl3. Fe has a very high positive charge, so that's going to be acidic. KH. Potassium hydride. Hydrides are very powerful bases, so this is going to be basic. Potassium iodide. Iodide is the conjugate base of a strong acid, so this is going to be uh, neutral. Now, what about lithium nitrate? Nitrate is the conjugate base of a strong acid, so that's going to be neutral. And lithium is an alkali metal. Now, potassium nitrite, however, nitrite comes from, it's the conjugate base of a, uh, a weak acid, so this is going to be a basic salt. Acetic acid is a weak acid, so lithium acetate is basic. And the copper plus 2 ion um, is a transition metal, so this is going to be relatively acidic. So now you know how to tell if an ionic compound is going to be acidic, basic, or neutral. So I'm going to give you a few more examples um, so you can uh, master this topic. Okay, go ahead and try these. Potassium phosphate. Phosphate, PO4, 3 minus, has a very high negative charge. So that's going to be basic. Lithium iodide. Iodide is neutral. Lithium is an alkali metal, so that's going to be neutral. Iodide is the conjugate base of a very strong acid. Ammonium nitrate. The nitrate is neutral, but the ammonium part is acidic. Now, calcium oxide. Whenever you have an oxide, Typically, it's basic. Aluminum, whenever you see that, that's going to be a weak acid. And sodium hypochlorite. Well, hypochlorite is the conjugate base of a weak acid, which is HClO. So this is going to be basic. Carbonate comes from carbonic acid. Carbonic acid is a weak acid, so carbonate must be basic. Barium hydroxide is definitely basic. Sulfate comes from sulfuric acid, which is a strong acid. Sodium sulfate fairly neutral. I would say it's between the neutral and the basic side. So I'm going to put N slash B. Because for sulfuric acid, the first hydrogen is very acidic. The second one, sort of, is like on the borderline. Potassium sulfate is definitely a basic salt. I mean, potassium sulfite. The sulfite ion is a, it's, it comes from a weak acid. H2SO3 is a weak acid, so HSO3- minus is even a weaker acid. So that's definitely going to be a basic salt. Now, according to the Arrhenius definition of acids and bases, bases, they produce hydroxide ions in solution. Acids, they produce H plus ions in solution. So let's say if you put uh, fluoride with water. Fluoride is a weak base. It's going to grab a hydrogen from water creating uh, hydroxide ions. 
But now, let's say if you put aluminum plus 3 in water. In water, aluminum is surrounded by like 6 water molecules, so sometimes it's written like this. And aluminum can cause one of the water molecules that's attached to it to ionize. And so it's going to be attached to aluminum in the form of as a hydroxide ion and it's going to release an H plus. So aluminum can ionize water and cause it to release H plus ion. So that's how aluminum is acidic in uh, aqueous solution. Now, let's say if you were to put an acid in water, let's say like uh, nitrous acid. Whenever you put an acid in water, it's going to generate H3O plus ions or which is the same as an H plus ion. Basically an H plus ion is H plus attached to water which is H3O plus. So as you can see acids they produce H3O plus ions or H plus ions and bases they produce hydroxide ions in solution. So that is it for this video. Thanks for watching and have a great day.